And it is time for Drew's News, your fresh and fluffy news waffle covered in that gooey good news syrup. And with me at the desk is the sweetest man in town, Rossi Ross Matthews. Hi, now I'm in a waffle. And the butter gets in the crevice, oh. and I know. I know, sometimes like I, I want it really savory, so I like a lot of butter. Oh, please. Yeah, well, you know what the butter gets in the little, oh, let go my ego, girl. <laughs> that mine. I know. Rossi, what day is it today? It's pop quiz. Hey! <laughs> One member of our city audience is going to be put to the test. We're going to ask you, yes. you or you three questions about today's show. And if you get it right, you're going to take home $1,000. Yes. So get out your... Whatever it takes. Um, sometimes I like to picture like a little spiral notebook and a number two pencil. Oh, just yeah. a metaphor of the mind. In your mind. Yeah, just be taking just, notes all yeah. day. Well, I'm very excited about this first story. Um, okay, so check this out, you guys. There is a fascinating new documentary headed to Netflix on April 27th, and we have got an exclusive first look. The Evening Standard reports that the mystery of Marilyn Monroe, the unheard tapes, will explore Marilyn's final days and uncover new information. And they are using previously unheard audio recordings from people who knew her well. So take a listen and a look. To get to people with information about the night Marilyn died, it was difficult. Let it be. I can't say anything, and I knew it all. I did what you always have to do if you meet a dead end. I went back to the beginning. Okay. That's already. I mean, completely. Well, and then later this year, Netflix mm -hmm. is also releasing their highly anticipated biopic, Blonde, with Anna Diarmas, and she's playing Marilyn. And the movie just got some headlines yeah. because it got an NC-17 rating. Hi. <clears throat> I really wanted to watch it before, and now I'm like, I can't wait to watch it. Well, I have to say, I read the director's quote uh, in reaction to the kerfuffle of people going NC-17, and he said, and I quote, if the audience doesn't like it, that's the freaking audience's problem. I'm not running for public <laughs> office. Okay. And yet I'm like, oh, in these days, you can run for public office. Right. So yeah, don't matter. you worry about that. Mm -hmm. um, I am so excited. What does sort of intrigue me about the Marylands and the Elvises is, does it always have to get so tragic? Do we love that about them? Do they have to reach those points? Is there anyone that we sort of accolade that is a healthy human being? I don't know. But these figures, they just are larger than life, and I, I want to kind of understand how they felt and what they went through and what is it like to be that adored. It, clearly, it's not an easy space to live in. Yeah, and with these tapes of her, maybe we'll get some of those answers. Yes, yes, like, yes. Yeah.